Hey guys, so the weather has been very different. It has been so cold compared to what it's been. It's been in the 70s and 80s and today it was 60s and 50s and ugh, it wasn't very comfortable weather. It's been a big change because <laughs> um, yesterday was way higher than today and today it's like it feels like what it would be in the winter but it's not. Um, this is probably going to be a really short video because I'm just going to whip through the questions and um, it's the end of the day so I need to get dinner and everything so I'm going to start with Rianne. And her question was, what is your favorite book? Uh, I really like the Twilight series. Um, and the Hunger Games were my favorite. The Hunger Games was probably my favorite. Well, Twilight and the Hunger Games were really good. Um, uh, Clips and Breaking Dawn. Like, Breaking Dawn was probably my favorite. And Eclipse and Twilight. New Moon wasn't as good as all the other books, but it was still good. Um, wasn't my favorite book, and Hunger Games was really good. Catching Fire was still really good. Mockingjay was a little bit slow um, paced. Or was it Catching Fire? I think it was Mockingjay. It was kind of slow paced, and then it got really fast. One of them was, but... Um, yeah, so those are my two favorite series. Um, I really still want to read The Fault in Our Stars, still haven't gotten that. Um, that answers that question. Uh, Lauren, your question was, do you play any instruments? I used to play violin when I was in um, fourth grade through um, up till I got sick, so um, start of seventh. And I like playing, but I um, had to stop when I got sick because I was too sick to really um, do anything. So I just stopped and I never really started again. Like, I forgot a lot of this stuff, so. But I did pick up guitar while I was um, sick because it was an easy thing to do in bed and um, just play some of my favorite songs and things. It was fun. Um, and Linnea, what are you doing for school this year? Uh, we are figuring that out right now. Um, I think we are switching to a state homeschooling um, educational thing. Um, so we're just figuring that out right now so we can start that this year. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, it's like an interactive um, virtual website that you do school with that's linked to the schools here. Um, like, so you can do school at home. Um, so yeah. And Christine, how do you handle negative emotions? Uh, I, I'm right there with you. It can be really frustrating um, not being able to do the things you want and when you do do some things you want you get tired and it's just this big circle and um, you know the whole POTS thing is very frustrating and uh, things I can do. I mean, before I got sick, exercising, like running and playing sports were my like big like stress relievers or like um, if I was sad or angry that day, I'd be like, go for a run or something like that. Now, you know, talking about it's really good with um, friends or family members um, and I have a journal 
also. I just started um, writing in a new one. Um, just like stuff that happened that day, how I fell or something like that. Um, and that's good. It's like I start writing it and I'm like, I don't really know what I'm going to write about because I really didn't do much that way, but I ended up writing, I ended up writing like three pages. And Alyssa's question was, if you could be anything and you know you can fail, what would you become? Um, I've always wanted to do something with animals, like be a veterinarian um, when I grew up. And I always wanted to play college ball, um, basketball. Uh, but, you know, if I wouldn't um, fail at it, I would. Um, but kind of out there for me at the moment so uh yeah that would be my answer something with animals I mean like a veterinarian or something um marine biology seems like cool to me working with um the um ugh, I can't talk um animals in the ocean and stuff so Either one of those seem interesting to me, and I really like animals, as a lot of people know, so that'd be my answer. And Jenny, what are your favorite movies? I just finished watching today The Notebook, and I've been wanting to watch it for a long time, and that's probably my favorite movie right now. <laughs> I like the Twilight series and Hunger Games, and Water for Elephants is really good, too. I, I have a lot of favorite movies, but I really like the, um, either comedies or, 21 Jump Street is really good, uh, comedies or, um, roman ugh, romantic comedies or, like, romantic dramas, something like that. So, yeah, definitely The Hunger Games and looking forward to Catching Fire and Mocking Jay. Those are a little while away, <laughs> but... That would be my answer. Now I need to think of a question because I didn't think ahead of time, so I'll put that at the end of the video. But I'm just going to go over what I did this week. I didn't really do that much. I wrote, again, my exercise journal. Uh, the day I made a video last week, after that I rode and had a little lesson with my sister because um, she is a higher level rider than me, so, um, and she knows Winnie because she rides him a lot, so. She is at college now, so I'm keeping Winnie up myself, uh, which is good exercise for me and, like, motivation to keep myself, like, moving and keep exercising and stuff. Because it works your legs and your abs really well. Like, your core strength is a big deal in riding because it keeps you upright while you're moving and stabilized because you need to be in the center and shoulders back and you have to... Um, keep like that alignment with the horse. So, I've been riding for 30 minutes and just like watch trot canter. Um, and that day I also did weights. I've been doing five pound weights and I have been doing lots of ab exercises like crunches and different kinds of crunches and all that um, on different days. And so when I say weights and abs, that's what I mean, because um, I just write it down like that. And I've been doing bike for, I started at 10 and now I'm at um, 16, but on the 4th I did weights, abs, and the bike uh, on 1 and 2 resistance. And because they have different resistance, like ranging from 1 to 10, so it's like if you're going up a hill, that would be a bigger resistance, like on an incline. And on the 5th, I rode Winnie, 30 minutes, same thing. And the 6th, weights, abs, and bike for 15 minutes. My bike is usually I start at 1, and if my heart rate stays under 120, I go to 2, and then if my heart rate stays like 120, 130, under 130, I go to 3. I went to 3 yesterday for the first time in a long time, and I've noticed that on the Myodrine, my heart rate, um, when it goes up, I don't get as out of breath and pounding as much, so it's normal for your heart rate to go up when exercising, 
but like be always out of breath and like pounding and being dizzy was my big problem with exercising and now going to 130 um, I don't feel like I'm suffocating and I'm dizzy and I'm going to pass out so I really like the fact that I can exercise now it's been a big help and on the seventh I did abs weights I like to change from like riding and then doing the bike and then riding one day because you're supposed to ride every day but every other day is good for me and that day on the seventh I went to a football game and that was fun I got to socialize a lot I went with my friends and on the 8th, I biked for 16 minutes, so I increased another minute, and I did my abs. And on the 9th, I biked for 16 minutes again, and I increased the resistance to 3, because I was playing around with it to see what would happen. And I did 3 for 1 minute, so at the end of my workout. And on the 10th, which is today, I rode Winnie, and I had a really good ride. He was really good. And, yeah, so they have been kind of crazy with the weather changing. When the weather changes, they get kind of hyper and agitated, and we've been having some construction going on, so they've been kind of stressed. So the other day, he was, like, bombing around his paddock running and... <sighs> We had to settle him down, but he was pretty hyper. My question this week is how much exercise do you usually do a day and can you tolerate it? I've been um, just doing regular things during a day, you know, getting up, getting ready and stuff. And I have been doing some sort of exercising each day, even if it's low key. Uh, like if it's riding or biking or abs or weights or something. And if I feel good that day, I sometimes do weights, abs, and bikes. So I am just wondering what you guys do. Myodrine, myodrine, myodrine has been... <laughs> I always say it differently different times. Myodrine, that's how I say it. Um, it's been helping me a lot with exercising like a lot and so I have been able to do way more than I used to so I'm wondering how much you exercise day so I'm going to go now and I'll see you guys next week